Joey Oki is making waves in PBR's 2024 rankings. I'm joined by the Hawkeyes commit, a right-hander out of Iowa's Inkeny Centennial High School. Joey, man, welcome in. Thanks for having me. The number one player in the state in the class, the sixth-ranked right-hander in the nation. How would you describe yourself as a pitcher in terms of the mentality that you have on the mound? I would describe myself as a hard thrower, throws a lot of strikes, and that bulldog mentality on the mound, thinks I'm the best up there, have confidence. I love the confidence angle there. The fastball into the 90s, you've got the changeup, the breaking ball. Uh, what pitch do you kind of feel like you're just scratching the surface in terms of what you're able to do with it? I think my changeup, through this offseason, I've started working on it, and it's gotten a lot better and more swing and misses. So tell me about the evolution of that. I mean, what what do you feel like you've been able to do with it, and where do you think that pitch could take you? So during the school ball season in spring, I didn't throw it as much because I couldn't control it as much. And that became not as much of a pitch in the summer ball. I was more three pitch in summer in high school. But then during the fall, during the break of summer and fall, I started working on a lot more, being able to throw more strikes, more movement. And now it's evolved into one of my better pitches. So you guys in Iowa are in such a unique situation, being the only state that plays its high school baseball during the summer. I've talked to scouts who say, you know, sometimes it's chaotic for them having to drive all over the state to want to see guys that they want to, you know, check out or, and scout and whatnot. How does it impact a guy in terms of the vantage point of the player? So it's different because you want to get ready for high school. So you got to play in the spring and then you want to play in the fall too. So it's a long season, a long lot of throwing and everything. So you got to think about it in a pitch perspective when you want to throw, when you want to use your all your pitches and everything. So in terms of a guy then who's trying to protect his arm uh, to pitch at the next level, how do you kind of care for your arm then and, and allow yourself to you know maximize the opportunities that you have, but also making sure that you're doing what you need to from a health perspective? So what I do is I start building up during like January, February. And then while like spring league games in, the, in March, April, and I'll go like two innings in those, one or two innings, just not 100%, just trying to get things loose on the mound and everything. And then the summer, I'll start ramping it up for my high school. And then I'll slowly start ramping, ramping it up to be able to throw full games. And then during the fall, I'll start slowly shutting it down. Obviously, this didn't stop you from getting the attention of the Hawkeyes. You've been committed to them since April of 2021. Tell me about the lure of that program. Obviously, a, a you know a big uh, state power without question. So I've always wanted to be a Hawkeye. And even without sports or anything, I've always wanted to go there. And I've been a big Hawkeye fan ever since I was little. So when I became started getting attention from colleges, Iowa was the first college I wanted to go to and talk to. And when I started talking to them, all the coaches started to stand out. And they really became like family to me. And that made my decision pretty easy. So I've seen some of the coaches in, in Iowa and Iowa City talk about they love the kids from that area because they understand having to deal with the weather during the, you know, the early parts of the season. How do you kind of think that that impacts it, you know, allows you to kind of be even more alluring to them, not only from a skill standpoint, but understanding, you know, everything that goes into playing ball up there? Yeah, it's a lot easier because we play in those conditions growing up and we know exactly how it's playing, how we go. I mean, we don't really play much in the spring because it's so cold in the weather conditions, but it's also like Iowa kids. And that's like one of the main parts about the Iowa program is you're playing for your home state. And that's big opportunity to do. OK, so we talked about your makeup on the mound, talked about what you throw. I want to see it in action a little bit. You've got a ball taking through your grips. So this is my four seam. I like having some space between my two fingers. Some people like it like this, but I don't feel as much control with it. And this is really what I like, like pinpoint, like right here, right on my things right there. That's where I like pinpoint my fastball, my four seam. And then two seam, I've changed this grip a couple of times in this past year, but this is the grip that I've found the most, the best it is, it's the same grip as my four seam, same length to my fingers. So it feels the same. And I throw it the same. I just, rip and grip and I throw it and it moves. So, and then it's my slider, just no normal curveball slider grip. I would say just fingers on the laces, just throw it. And then pretty simple, I guess, but then I change up, throw like a four seam change up and my fingers right on this seam down here. And I've messed with this grip a lot in the past couple of years. And this is the grip that I felt the most control with and felt the most movement. So, 
Okay, so it has that change up grip kind of with the evolution of it so that you see that pitch has gotten a lot better for you. How has the grip changed, uh, you know, in terms of the, the last few, I, I guess, you know, maybe the last year in terms of how you kind of switch things up with it to be more effective with the pitch? So I started off with trying to throw a two seam one and I just couldn't find the arm slot or movement or anything. And then I switched it to like more kind of a splitter kind of change up. And I just, I couldn't find, I couldn't feel, feel it at all. And then one of my coaches told me to try this and this has worked with me ever since. So kind of clicked. That's awesome. Listen, Joey, man, I truly appreciate it. Wishing you a happy holidays, man. And a great 2023. Thank you. Thanks for having me.